since the barbaric attack on Israel on October 7th that left over 1,200 Israelis dead and several raped and captured, the region has been engulfed with conflict, rubble, and hunger. These restless events lead to Jonathan writing his newest book, The Dragon's Prophecy, and Khan has been named, along with Billy Graham, as one of the top spiritual leaders to have radically impacted our world in modern times. He has spoken at the United Nations on Capitol Hill, to members of Congress, and to millions around the world. Every one of his books has become a New York Times bestseller, so lots of people are familiar with his, his predictions and his, his words. He's a recognized prophetic voice for our times. And so he leads Beth Israel at the Jerusalem Center in Wayne, New Jersey, and Hope of the World Ministry, a world outreach of God's word and compassion to the world's most needy. Rabbi, an honor to have you on. Thank you for joining us. A, a blessing to be with you. At, when, it, when the world gets complicated, when the world falls into chaos, mankind as a whole, no matter religion, no matter continent, they look to the sky, they look to the divine to mm -hmm. find order. And that's, that's not what we're doing now. Right now, we actually have a guide to look at. In yeah. the Dragon's Prophecy, you actually lay out kind of what, what guideposts that we can look to for guidance in these dark times. How is this different yeah. from the books you've written in the past? Yeah, well, I've, uh, I've, you know, I've never written a book that totally got into really what biblical prophecy, end time prophecy that's unfolding now. I didn't plan on writing this book. I was writing a sequel to another book that I read, wrote, and then everything happened. And the thing is that, that the, you know, it's got, there is so much behind what's happening. In fact, what's happening now, right now, is linked, it, I wrote about in the book. This is the only book, as I'm writing the book, things are co coming true that I'm writing. I had to keep on updating it. And after I finished it, things continue to come true because there is a reason for it. There is something more to this world and more to what's happening. And it's it's quite amazing. Once you see it, it's kind of like the veil is removed. It's it Everything makes sense. So this is, you know, the, I've never written a book that so much was is coming true as I wrote it and after I wrote it. Well, talk to us about some of that. It, um, one of the mysteries in the book foretold the invasion of Israel by Hamas, yes. uh, what would happen and, and when it would take place. Uh, elaborate yes. on how you got there. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. One of the mysteries, it goes back to the, the biblical book of Leviticus, um, and it actually it foretold that or when you take the mystery to its conclusion and ordain, there would be an attack on Israel. It would happen. It would take Israel by surprise. It would happen in the year 2023 would happen on October of that year, would happen on a Sabbath day or the a Saturday, uh, would happen on a Hebrew holy day that goes back to ancient times. It would take place on the first Saturday of October of 2023. That, that day fell on October 7th. And the thing is, Janelle, is I was actually led to share about this mystery from the Bible the day before, the, 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 on Friday, a Friday night at Beth Israel, the congregation I lead in New Jersey, the next morning it came true. So the thing, and people who were there saying, you know, you just spoke about this. Well, it is there. And actually this mystery actually leads to, there were three other events that took place after I finished the book. This might even enable us to know what is coming and when, because there is a plan and there are, there are patterns in the Bible. And the thing is that this is really what launched, what began the dragon's prophecy, but that's just one. It's based on the ancient mystery of, of what's called the Jubilees, but this, this was exact. Why, why do you call it the dragon's prophecy? Because in, in Revelation, the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, uh, there's a vision of a dragon or red dragon, which actually represents the enemy or what's called in Hebrew, Satan, or we call him Satan. Um, and a woman that he's warring against who represents Israel. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed. 